Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to go over a quick little tip on how to assign drum pads in Digistics, the original Digistics, not Digistics 2 because I have an iPhone. So I'll show you how to map them in MIDI and uh, be able to arrange them however you want and then save the kits so that you can use them later. So I hope you enjoy and remember to hit that like button. Now you don't need any specific controller for this. Um, one thing I've noticed when I initially start out with Digistics, Four Pockets Digistics, um, it, the MIDI routing on this, it, it defaults to where only the upper four pads on my uh, controller, and, and this is on both controllers that I have. I have a Launch Key Mini. And then I also have this M Audio Oxygen Pro, and they're all defaulted to the first, the top four, top right four pads. Everything else is empty. So I had to figure out how to uh, map the drums onto the uh, controller. So you want to scroll down. To the pad section by the way digistix is a really really good drum machine app if you don't have it uh, I know this is the older version he just came out with uh, and he I mean uh, Paul from four pockets just came out with digistix 2 but I am an iPhone user so I'm not privileged enough to be able to get um, the new Digistics. I can only use the older ones. So uh, mapping is is um, is not as easy, I guess, as it is in um, Digi Digistics 2. I guess there's a MIDI learn function. Uh, I have to uh, map out individually each pad. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So I prefer like bass drum on the uh, first lower left pad. So like bass, snare, high, oh, closed hi-hat, open hi-hat, and then, you know, like cymbals, and, and then I like toms on the top and stuff. So I'm kind of specific about that. So what you got to do to map out on your controller is long press. That's the tom and the bass drum. Here we go. So long press on the bass drum or whatever drum you prefer. And it brings up a little menu. It's kind of skewy because I have uh, Digistics slid off to the side. Find MIDI, ma MIDI mapping. Now, um, oh, I, I need to make clear that this is for the stock pads or stock drums uh custom drums it's a little bit you know like imported drums it's a little bit different uh because you can just save them right to uh you can save them right to um a, a specific uh folder or whatever or, or resave them to whatever folder you have them saved in which reminds me first what i have to do is resave this drum kit. So you hit the little plus mark right next to the uh, drum kit. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna choose uh, copy drum kit. It's gonna ask me where do I wanna put it? I made a custom folder uh, titled mapped kits. And that's where I'm going to save this. Yes, I want to save. So there you go. That's uh, the first step. So now I go to my banks and I'm going to go to mapped kits. And I'm going to look for the kit that I just saved. I believe it's alt rock. 
Okay, check that. So now I go to my pads. So I'm going to map out the drums for you. Long press on the pads that you want, or pad, I mean. Brings up that menu. Look for MIDI mapping. I know it's a little weird on the screen here, but um, trust me. Uh, well, they'll get better in the pads in the middle. Select MIDI mapping, and it's going to ask me, where do I want to do it? So I'm going to press the pad that I want it on. And there you go. So now let's listen. There it is. So you got to repeat this over and over. Long press. MIDI mapping. Choose your pad. And here we go. And you'll hear they're gone in the, where they used to be. Long press, MIDI mapping, there we go. So you do this for each pad. I'll just do this. So here we go. Do my second row. Nice tambourine sound. There you have it. So from this point, you got to go back up and we're going to resave the kit, but it's going to save it in the folder that it's in. So you don't have to move it this time. Oh, just word of advice. If you happen to choose another kit, <clears throat> it's going to reset everything that you did so you're going to have to redo it if you move the kit before saving once you save it you're good so i go down to save kit save kit yes and there you go save successful i'm in mapped kits i'm gonna choose another kit just to show you one this is one I have mapped out already. Now I'm going to go to the one that I just saved. And there you go. Voila. So I hope this helps you guys. Uh, remember, if you like this quick tip, uh, remember to hit that like button. And always be kind, like, and subscribe. <laughs>